Hello and welcome, I'm Chris and this is the Hair Tutorial Channel and on this channel I give you weekly hair tutorials on everything from cutting, colouring to hair up. And on this week's video I'm going to be looking at the Wolf Cut Pixie Mullet. A mashup of three cuts combined to give you a modern updated mullet. So let's get to it. I've started by simply sectioning the head block into three sections. From the crown down to the top of the ear, everything going forward. Then a triangular section just from the occipital bone to the middle of the ear and then everything below the occipital bone. So basically we're going to have a very short section transitioning into a medium section transitioning into our really long mullet at the back. First section is going to be from the crown coming towards the front hairline and this is going to be our guide. Now, you could, if you wanted to, already sort of establish a length of a fringe that you wanted in the front. We're going to pull this to the length that we want to establish. Now, I want it very short at the front, so I'm going to be angling my fingers from long to short. So the crown, it will be longer, the fringe, it will be shorter. And I'm going to be point cutting. Again, you could club cut you could raise up. It's entirely up to you, but I'm just gonna do my point cutting. And here as well, you could go square. It's really just establishing the sort of length that you want, that you're happy with. So we're gonna carry this on down towards the front, gradually coming down shorter. Okay, and there you go, we've established. Now we can always come in and feather that more, razor it, chop into more if we want to. My next section is now from this central point. It's going to be diagonal forward section. And I'm gonna be over directing it back to my previous section. So in this case, it will be over directed back towards the central section. And this is gonna give us a little more length and a little bit more softness around the perimeter of the haircut. Now, next section, once again, pivoting from that central point, a forward diagonal. Now, this section will be over directed back to our previous, not to the center, but just to the previous section. So if you want, you can now get rid of that central section so that you can follow where your previous section was. again if you want to you can take away that section once again take a forward diagonal section and over direct it back to the previous as you can see we're beginning to build up this softness but also a tiny bit more length around here so that the blend into the length into the mullet isn't so exaggerated. So once again a forward diagonal section and then on to our very last section so you can see on our last section we're doing a forward diagonal but we're virtually coming uniform around the head now. So as you can see we have a nice bit of softness, a nice bit of texture that you can play with. So once again, it's now going over to the other side and simply repeating this, so going back. Okay, so with both sides now done, we're gonna to move to our middle section. And really this is just sort of the blending area. You could totally just go from short to long. It's not something I like to do. I do like to sort of try and keep a little bit of connection going through. So once again, we're gonna to return to our central parting. And now we're gonna follow this around. So we have a longer point that we've created. So we do have a little bit more length at this crown to play with. And um, we're gonna use our uniform layer. So we're gonna follow the head shape around, blending this in to length. So taking a section down through the middle to the top of that occipital bone, picking up our length that we established through the front of the haircut. And now again, point cutting 
and simply following the shape of the head around. Now we're going to use this central point and once again take sort of orange segments and this time we're not going to over direct back to previous we're simply going to follow that guide follow the shape of our head work around this way to the ear and then of course that way to the ear Okay, my final section, right by the ear. And then the same on the other side. Okay, so with both sides of the back done now, I've let this bottom section out just below the occipital bow. And it's really just establishing the guideline that you've now created. And now angling your fingers to length to keep as much of the perimeter length as you want and if you struggle angling your fingers you can always just bring it up until you find the end of the hair once again just point cutting So I'm going to complete the other side and then dry it off and show you. Okay, so this has just been blast dried off. I put a little bit of straightening product in it and this is sort of the finished result. Now you can see that I'm going to need to go through this and sort of and tailor it to what I want it to be. We've got a nice lot of length here that we can play with. Now some people might want to leave that length or you might just want to come in and sort of chop and chip and texturize and get rid of that so you have a shorter into a longer again all of these things are sort of for you they're your personal taste they're the client's personal taste so i'm just going to go through and texturize it and then i'll show you sort of my take on this